Hello, hello. Give me one second. I'm not open. <laughs> hello, hello, everybody. Just give me a second. Let me set myself up. I have a few things to share with you all today. Let me just see if I can pull uh, my video up on YouTube. Which I think I can. I think I can. Hope everybody's having a great, great day. This is very impromptu. I didn't really schedule this, um, but I've been adding some new products to the store. So I just wanted to come and share with you guys real quick what it is that I have added so far. And I literally forgot to, um, to share this. So let me just do a quick little share just to let people know that I'm live because I know YouTube doesn't do the greatest job at... Um, at announcing it. Demo. Okay. <clears throat> All right, you guys. So hello, hello, hello. Um, I decided to do this live. I could have uh, very well have recorded it, but sometimes it's just easier to go ahead and do a live. And sometimes for me, recording the videos, it's not always the easiest thing to do. So you guys, I'm not going to hold you guys up too, too much, but I do have some products to share with you guys. And I want to do this somewhat rather quickly because I would like to see if I have time to do uh, an actual art journal page with it. So let's see if we get there. Not really quite sure. I did go ahead and do a little bit of uh, like a practice sheet, if you want to call it that. <laughs> um, I went ahead and did some quick little preview or demo on my own of the stencils that I'm going to be sharing with you guys today. I did come on Monday. I did come over here on Monday and do a quick little live stream, but I took that video down because honestly, it was just a hot mess of a video <laughs> and I wasn't going to put you guys, um, I wasn't going to sit you guys through all of that. So let me put my art journal to the side because we are going to be most likely using this, hopefully. And let me pull out these stencils. Yes. Oh my goodness, you guys. I have been hard at work. And I have a few, like I said, they're, I just demoed them. So they're a little dirty because I was trying to get something to share with you guys that you can actually see so that you can see how the stencils actually come out. So we're going to go ahead and share these. I forgot to take a little piece out of it, but we'll take that out later. All right. So I have a few of these. And also some background stencils that I created that are going to be added me to the store as well. And I'm also going to be putting some other uh, stencils that I had shared with you guys before I didn't get a chance to do it. So this is um, the stencil that I was actually working on Monday. That's why it's all the filthy. So this is the stencil that I was working on on Monday. And um, I had to go back into it. I'm still working on it, actually, because... I kind of got distracted, but I have to go back into this and fix this up a little bit before I can actually make it available because there are some things on here that I just didn't like the way that it worked out. So I'm not going to have this available just yet. So if you were a part of Monday's stream or if you saw that video, I'm still going to be working on that. I still have quite a few things to do. Um, so, yes, you guys, let me share with you. So I've gone ahead and um, created a few other stencils as well. Okay, um, I've got this one. I haven't given it a name just yet. This is a trio. This is a three-in-one. It actually goes this way. It's a three-in-one. So it's, I've, I've created a little bit of bricks, um, a little brick section on this. I made the stencil rather small so we could get into smaller spaces. Um, so I created a brick. I created like this cobblestone area here, and then I just created like this netting type of design on the other side. Um, so this is something that you can totally use in all different types of projects. You'll get a, a lot of nice background there. And then I created this one as well. This one is kind of like a diamond, but not so much of a diamond. It's kind of like an octagon diamond. I don't know if that's even a shape, but it's kind of like the shape that it is. Um, so I thought that this was really cool because you can use it in both, you know, horizontal and vertical. So 
I've created that one as well. That one's going to be up today. I haven't added that. The background stencils haven't really been added yet. Um, the other three that I'm sharing with you have been added, but not this one. Okay, this is another one, again, using octagons, um, kind of like a honeycomb type of uh, design. Really simple, but I thought it was really, really cute. So we're going to go ahead and work with this as well. And then I'm going to be incorporating today um, from my Olympic diamonds, from the chipboard stencil, from the chipboards that I have I'm incorporating today as well, the stencil um, counterparts to those chipboards as well. So we're going to have that in the store as well. So now you guys let's get into the main attraction because I consider these guys to be the main attraction. These are the, the focal points. Yes. So um, I've gone ahead and did a little bit of distressing with some Tim Holtz ink. And um, basically to share with you guys kind of like how it looks, how the details kind of come out. Um, I'm trying to get a little bit better at showcasing these products when I do, you know, come out with them. This is, this is fairly new to me. So I'm learning as I go, just like with everything else. So just bear with me, you guys. I know it's been kind of like a crazy, um, you know, start to this whole thing. I started a business in the midst of the coronavirus. Like it's just been nuts, but that's just how I operate, right? <laughs> so um, basically, um, I went ahead and added some flowers in here. Now, this is kind of like inspired by um, the Daisy, Daisy's Garden. If you've seen that, um, if you've seen that as well. This is kind of like uh, in the same family of that. Um, I went ahead and added this really ornate looking moon. I think the moon looks really, really wicked and cool. Um, I added some little either dragonflies or butterflies, whatever you want to call them. Uh, they kind of, it's like a little hybrid between the two of them. I added the words moon and magic um, and I hand wrote those in. So hopefully <laughs> it looks good. Um, and this is basically supposed to be like a tree. So she's like the tree of life. Um, she only kind of blooms every couple times a year, um, when, whenever the moon is just right. And on this occasion, the moon is just right. So we have all of this beautiful kind of like things happening. Um, she's kind of blooming, you know, she's spreading her, her branches or her arms or however you want to call it. Um, so I added some texture into the moon, This, I mean, into the tree. And also the texture that I added into the tree to me was kind of like a dual type of thing because it kind of also represents to me kind of like the stairway to heaven, if you will, because the way that I did um, the texture on the tree, you can almost make it look like if they're clouds um, or if it's like, you know, going upward, like it's kind of, you know, twirled around the tree going upward. Um, so we have that here. I did, I did kind of um, borrow the design that I did on this hand because I really, really like that. And I, I wanted to see if I could do it a little bit different. So basically this is kind of like giving you a window into what's happening inside of the tree, if you will. We have, you know, the, the, the all the flowers kind of blooming out from her hands, blooming out from the top of her head, blooming out from basically everywhere. So again, this has a lot of feel of like the Daisy's Garden kind of theme. So I thought that that was really cool. And this is how the stencil looks, even though it doesn't look like this when you're going to get it. But it's dirty, you guys. Um, like I said, I just used it real quick to, um, you know, do that. But I wanted to share with you guys. And as you guys know, my stencils are nice and thick and durable. Um, so it's a really nice size, I believe. This one is about 10, 10 and a half inches wide. Um, but that's just the size of the overall stencil. Each of the elements obviously are a little bit bigger. So you can totally fit this into like your art journal. Yeah, this is about nine, no, ten and a half by by nine and a half. So ten and a half by nine and a half. Also, real quick, let me point out to you um before I forget and move on to the next one. I also created this little section here to kind of like uh, represent grass. So this is kind of like what it looks like when you lay it out. Now, obviously, you know you can kind of uh, you know put this in different areas and create like you know shadowy grass and just different things. So. I added this cool little thing in the bottom so that you guys can go ahead and do that. This this huge little flower here, so if you guys you just want to do, you know, some additional things or if you want to, you know, make some huge flowers, it depends on the surface and how much room you have. You can use this to make like some really, really huge flowers. Um, so that's that one. And this one's called Moon Magic, I believe is what I call this one. Okay. Now this is the other one that I have created. And oh my goodness, you guys, I am 
in love with this one right now. I cannot wait to do a project with it. Right now, I'm trying to work on um, creating a chipboard version for her, but I put a lot of texture into her hair for the stencil. You know, obviously with this with the chipboard, I can't add as much um, of the of the texture, but Hopefully soon I'll be upgrading machines and I'll be able to do a lot more uh, designs, a lot more uh, texture to my designs and be able to cut them out without having to, you know, go crazy. <laughs> so um, this one right here is Star Starlight. Yes, Starlight is her name. And basically um, I wanted her to be kind of like looking up. It's almost like she's kind of like descending or she's ascending depends on which way you want to put it because you can actually put her like she's going you know you know she's going this way that way you can turn her into superwoman it's up to you what you would like to turn her into um but i did this kind of like um not so much of a horizon line but you can actually make this into like a moon a sun or whatever it is that you wanted to do but i gave you like this curved out line in the background so that you can add something you can even add some text into it make turn it into like a speech bubble or whatever it is that you guys would like to do I tried to give you guys a little bit of room so that you can go ahead and write stuff in it and just, you know, play with it as you wish. When it came to the stars, I wasn't really quite sure which kind of stars to do. Um, so I kind of just like did a whole bunch of different ones, if you will. So they're all a little bit different from each other. Just to kind of give you a variation. That way, if there's one that specifically you like, then you could just reuse the same one over and over again. I also added some dots here and there. Um, just to kind of give a little bit more texture and so on and so forth. So basically, it looks like she's not wearing anything, but she is actually wearing a dress, you guys. It kind of tapers down the side here. Um, and these are, you know, the areas of her hip that kind of stick out from the where the dress is. Her hair is mega, mega long. Um, you guys know I love playing with, like, the textures of hair, and I love doing my hair is really, really large for the most part. So... There's like a whole bunch of stuff kind of happening here. Super, super cool, I think. And then this is what the stencil looks like. I believe that this one is seven and a half by ten and a half, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but I think that that is the size. Let me just double check it here. Yeah, so it's seven and a half by ten and a half. Yeah. And what I'm going to be doing, you guys, I'm going to be doing two releases a month. Um, I think that that's going to really work a lot better for me. Um, initially, I wanted to do like a release every week, but actually the reality hit me between doing orders and um, trying to design and being everything else. It does take quite a little bit of time. So as I adjust and um, I catch up to speed, if you will, and everything around me as well calms down as far as the whole world hopefully gets back to some kind of normal level then I'll be able to produce, um, you know, a little bit better. So for right now, I'm going to do one stencil release and one um, chipboard release, and I'm going to do one and one a month. If I do decide to incorporate other products or other things into it that I've created, um, then I will do those, you know, on their dedicated day, whatever that dedicated day ends up being. So this is uh, Starlight. Absolutely beautiful. And she has her hands kind of cupped in. I wanted to kind of like, I didn't want to leave her hands like open like that, both of them open because I felt like if I wanted to add something to her hand, let's say she's just kind of standing there and I wanted to add, let's say, a bucket or, a, a, you know, a wand or whatever the case may be, um, the way that I created her hands kind of allows me to do that. I can still kind of add um, that in there. So it, I, I kind of did it so that it looks like she's holding something already. Um, so it'll be easier just to kind of like add any other little things that I would like to add in there. So that's starlight. And so far, this is the one that I am the most in love with so far. Hello. Hello, Cindy. I'm doing a quick little share of, um, some of the products, some of the new stencils that I'm going to be adding to the store. Um, and this one right here, her name is actually Spunky. Now, one thing I'm going to tell you guys about Spunky, um, the actual stencil, I did a little bit of adjustments to it because this is just, um, this is the original one that I had cut out. And there was a few things that I really didn't, you know, wasn't too happy about. So there are going to be a few little slight changes on the stencil itself, even though this is the image that you're going to see on the thing. 
Um, all I did was basically remove from the O, I removed the two little spaces that are there. And then here in the hair, I just kind of um, stretched it out a little bit more so that I have better, um, watch my color, so that it's holding on a little bit better to the stencil. Other than that, I didn't do anything else uh, to the stencil itself other than that. And over here where I have the little heart, I did kind of um, separate that a little bit just so that the stencil is out a little bit better and it doesn't kind of like snag. I made sure that this is kind of like um, not snagging. So that's usually what I do. Like I'll create them and then I'll make them and see like where I need to fix or adjust or do certain things. Hi, Keisha. Oh, why didn't you tell me, Cindy? But everything was okay? What happened with the bubble mailers is this, and I, and I, I came on, um, on the video and I, and I kind of mentioned that because I went, I had ordered the, you know, the, the packages of the bubble mailers. So that's why I was like, I'm going to put them in bubble mailers because I had ordered them. And um, they haven't arrived yet. And that was weeks ago that I ordered it. Before I even ordered my chipboard, I already have, was waiting for my bubble mailers. So when I, when I got all my other supplies that I did get to, so that I can start the store, I went to the post office to try to get some bubble mailers, but there weren't any. So I had to kind of improvise. Um, and that's why I refunded everybody the difference of the shipping because since I was unable to send it on the bubble mail, and I think I also put in the notes, um, you know, in the, in the customer notes so that you guys get a copy of that, that I couldn't get my hands on bubble mailers. I'm still waiting for them. Mind you, I got a notification that says that they're on the way, but they have not arrived. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. And the post office has like no supplies at all, like no supplies. Uh, yeah, you should have, Cindy, but I'll check. I'll double check. As a matter of fact, let me double check on you real quick. Because I did send everybody, if if their shipping was under the $8, because that was what the flat rate shipping was, was $8. If the shipping was anything under the $8, then I gave them a refund. Um, but I can double check on that for you in two seconds. I actually have my store open right now. So, um Um, um, Cindy, without telling me all your address, what state, what state are you in? Oh, I lost my thing. Where's my video? Oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah. Um, so if that was the case and I did refund to, uh, $2, it was five forty five. your, your, um, shipping. So I refunded you $2 and 50. Five cents. So you should have that because everybody got refunded. I mean, every order got refunded except for one um, because that one was actually over and I just left that one at the, as it was. Um, but everybody that's whose shipping was under $8, I did that. And I actually changed the shipping on the, on the site for that same reason, because it's actually cheaper for me to send it to you how I was sending it to you. Now, once I get my bubble mailers, yeah, it should go through the same, um, through, I, well, I did it through PayPal, so everybody got refunded through PayPal because that's PayPal's the one that handles all of my um, all of my payments. I don't I don't handle the payments directly. So, like, I have um, I made sure that I wrote, <laughs> I documented everything nicely. Um, and yes, at three twenty p.m. on the ninth, I refunded everybody. So, if you want to check for that, then you'll probably find that there. And moving forward, um, I believe so. When I put the like when I put the notes, um, you know, in the customer account, when I put the notes, I can either send it to private, as in my personal note, or I send it to client. And I put all the notes, um, you know, I, I put the tracking and I put you know all the information in there and, and send that out. 
but I should have your email in the in the order. <laughs> but no worries, love. Um, like I said, moving forward, what I'm gonna do, hopefully I'll get the bubble wrap. But if I don't, I'm just gonna buy the bubble packaging and continue to do the envelopes I have been doing them for right now until I can get the bubble mailers. But even when I get the bubble mailers, I think what I'm gonna do is um only save that for orders that are like really, really large because I noticed that it's actually cheaper for you guys to ship. It's cheaper for you guys when I ship to you standard. Now I'll add cardboard and I'll add things into your packaging to make it like super secure. I believe everybody's order came okay so far. I got feedback from everybody that the orders are right fine. Um, so I'm really saddened to hear that yours got messed up. But I know Michigan is going through a lot of different things right now, so God knows. <laughs> yeah, you can um, through your through your PayPal account. Thank you, thank you, Keisha. <laughs> um. So I changed I changed the shipping and I, I kind of uh, stated that in the top of the website that it's now um, you know uh, first class mail because it's cheaper now if something is you know if I get somebody that orders everything in the store then I'll obviously have to package that up a little bit different and a larger thing and um, all the pieces are, I think are priced individually so it's priced by what you buy not as like a whole thing so it'll be cheaper for you when you buy like I know somebody that purchased like a uh, several several pieces and they only pay like five bucks almost six dollars I think was the most Cindy um, what I'll do is that when I'm done with the live I'm gonna email you and I'll take a screenshot of it and I'll send it to you if that if that helps <laughs> You're very welcome. Yeah, I'm trying to do this like, you know, as professional as I can for somebody who's kind of jumping into this thing head first. <laughs> but um, so this is Spunky, you guys. Yes, I'm so in love with Spunky. Oh my goodness, I'm so in love with Spunky. And I'm thinking that what I'm gonna do, um, I really love her, like, I, I love, I love this. I love the way that she came out. And this took me quite some time to get it all the way together you guys can imagine just how adding all of these different lines and all of these different things just right can kind of go you know make you a little bit nuts but i think it was very well worth it at the end um let me bring her up a little bit so she's got a lot of beautiful detail i added a little tattoo on her back um she's got an earring she's got a little heart stud in her ear she's also got a little stud on her nose um I did a lot of texture on the lips, but you can totally um, paint over that if you don't like the lines, you don't like the texture. You can just kind of go over that and then just make her face a little bit more solid. You can totally see like her little eyelashes. I know that sucks. That, that really sucks. And I try to package them up so well. Like I put cardboard in them. Like I try to make them as sturdy as possible. I tape them. <laughs> Thank you, Keisha. I needed to do something like that was more, more me. Like I love, you know, I, you guys have seen, I've, I've created with so many different things over the years. Like, you know, I can create just about anything out of anything. So that's not really that much of a situation, but when it comes to certain things like this, like sometimes it's not the easiest thing to find the stuff that you like, like personally. So I was really excited to be able to kind of like put my imagination to good use and create something that like it's totally me, like it's so totally my style. And this is how big she is. And I believe she's seven and a half. I keep doing this. I have everything written down, but um, she's actually 10 inches by, yeah, 10 inches by seven and a half, right? Yeah. So she's 10 long waist, seven and a half. Um, but this part right here, like if you just wanted to use like her face, and again, this is another one that I'm going to be bringing in. in uh, she's about four inches wide, give or take. And, and about six inches tall, right? Does that sound about, about right? Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> well, we're going to see. So this is how she looks. I absolutely love it. Oh, 
There it goes, right here. And we're also going to be working with some of the background stencils. So if you guys didn't get a chance to see those, I have a few new background stencils that I added, that I'm adding to the store. I haven't added them. I was working on it this morning, but I, I ran out of time because I wanted to come on live and do a quick share with you guys. So I kind of ran out of time to do those. Um, but this is going to be, I think, the last of it. We're on the 22nd. This is going to be the last stencil release for the month of May. I'm working on June's release um, and the releases that are going to be for June. As far as chipboards, I'm not going to have any new designs until June for the chipboards. So you guys can go ahead and check out this, um, the site for the ones that are there. If you haven't made a purchase yet, what are you waiting for? <laughs> so we're going to be working on this for right now. I haven't done some art journaling in a little bit, so I'm really excited to do some art journaling. And I'm going to try to get an art journaling session in here with you guys really, really quickly and just kind of pick one and put it all together. So this is my trio stencil. I'm going to have other trio stencils coming around. Um, this is approximately, I believe, four inches by... Where is it? I think it's four inches by 10 inches. So we have a little bit of bricks. We have a little bit of cobblestone. And then we have some this kind of like netting design that I did here on this one. And I love adding bricks into um, my artwork. And this stencil is nice and thick. So when you use paste with this, like you're going to get a nice raised area, especially if it's stencil. I mean, if your paste is really thick, you're going to get a nice, um, you know, raised area on that. That's going to be look really, really nice on a dimensional front. And then this is my um, Olympic honeycombs, I'm going to call it. And I think that's what I'm going to go with. Um, and this is all honeycomb design, as you guys can see. And then it has like interconnecting honeycombs. And we also have some diamonds that kind of come out as a natural, um, you know, result of combining these together. Thank you, Keisha. It's not easy. It's not easy. Let me tell you, I've done stencils in so many different ways and they don't all work. Like. They don't all work. I've done a couple demos here because um, usually like that's what I'll do. Like I'll come and I'll, I'll create something and then I'll come and I'll do a quick little demo with you guys. It kind of, for me, it's almost like you guys are on this journey with me. So it's like I share certain things of like my process, the things that I go through, you know, what makes me pull my hair out. Um, so I, I do kind of share with that with you guys as I kind of go through it because this is totally new to me. So like, you know, maybe somebody has some advice <laughs> that they can share and I'll definitely um, be ears open. Uh, ready and willing to listen. So uh, this one is super cool and I, it's pretty large as well. But again, when it comes to these types of stencils, um, you only use certain bits of it for the most part. And I did, I didn't want to close it off because I didn't want you to be kind of like stuck, you know, in a square um, when it came to these. So I kind of left these open. So if you just want to like, you know, use the edges or whatever it is, you can do that. Um, and this is approximately... That's not that. These grid, this grid confuses me. <laughs> There's too many numbers in too many directions. <laughs> All right, so let's see. So this is about seven and three quarters inches high by about seven and three quarters. So it's seven, seven, what is it? Seven, seven and three quarters by seven and three quarters. So Yeah, these are not these things are not easy, you guys. These things are not easy. Um, although I will say, I will say, um, at least for me, designing them on the digital the digital tablet, it makes my life so much easier because this thing glides like it's like I'm writing in a cloud. Like this thing glides all over the place. Yes, that's what I'm working on. I'm gonna show her to you. Don't laugh, you guys. You might have missed this on Monday when I came here and pulled my hair out. But I'm gonna share. <laughs> I'm gonna share with you guys because listen, I'm I'm there's no such thing as perfection, and all we can do is try and try again, right? So I'm working, I'm currently working on this one. This is this, this is how this one ended up taking place. <laughs> because I was working on that one, and then I just kind of was like, ah, oh, let me just scrap the whole design and let me just go and do something different. So you're going to notice some similarities here between um, my moon magic stencil. That's what I'm calling it, moon magic, because it's got the words and it's just easier for me to remember. She's kind of like, she's got like this gypsy kind of vibe, which I really love. I did a lot of netting on her hair. I know it's really hard to see right now. Um, 
It's gonna be really, really hard to see it. Maybe if I put it on white, maybe that'll help. Okay, yeah, that does help a lot actually. So she's got a lot of beautiful flowers, you know, kind of blooming all around. The flowers worked out okay, um, but I have to switch this. I have to invert this image. Um, so basically, what I have to do is take everything that's here and actually make all these lines the negatives and then fill in the rest of it so that it actually stencils out the way that i want it to stencil out so from going through this let me say something this took me a while to do okay it took me a couple days because i had to keep going into it and adding so much detail i mean her hair has like this beautiful netting um that i added it into it she's got like these beautiful things and again her hair is kind of like growing out of it and i wanted to give daisy like character you know, I wanted to kind of like bring her to life. So I added so much detail to the stencil only for it not to work the way I wanted it to. I was so disappointed. I tried paste. I tried spray. I tried so many different things. And it was just like, oh, it's not working. So um, this one will probably be released, re-released officially in June um, so that I can take the next couple of days to really fix it and, and bring her back to life the way that I envision her in my mind. Because um, I really do love how it looks. Again, she's got like a gypsy vibe to her and I really like it. Um, so I am gonna be bringing this one out again. Just I just need to go back into it and, re and rework the design. As well as um, also I'm gonna be adding some more stencils for some of the other chipboards that I already have. So in June, I'm gonna be focusing on um, a few new ones, but mostly making sure that I have stencils for all of my chipboards that I already have in the store. So I want to make sure that I make the, you know, that I have a complete 360. Yes, it is, Cindy. It is. It is. And let me tell you something. Each and every single one of you guys that purchased that day, that week, honestly, like you guys, you have no idea how I, how I, how I felt. Like I was on a cloud, like the whole week, my head is not full of air, but I was literally walking in a cloud. Like I just felt so happy um that you guys liked it enough to buy it because we can like a lot of things and be like yeah no nah, not really but you know for you guys to actually buy it for me that was just like oh my god so excited so excited <laughs> so moving right along so i'm trying to see if i have a if i have time to i have to, to i have to at least i have an hour you guys so i'm gonna see what i can do in an hour and then this is the last one i think right yeah and this is the last one. And this one is like, I don't know. I don't know what kind of shape this is. It's like a trap. I don't know if it's a trapezoid or what. I don't know what kind of shape this is, you guys. Okay. I started off with one shape. And obviously between manipulating and adjusting and moving this and moving that, we're moving the other way. I ended up with this shape. And I was like, oh, that is kind of weird and cool. So, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. And I'm really excited. Like, I, I want to see what you guys make with it. Like, even if you don't do, like, YouTube videos and stuff like that, if you want to share with me private, it's a diamond, diamond zoid. Okay. Well, that'll work. <laughs> that'll work. I don't know if it, it'll be easy for them to pronounce it, but it'll definitely work. Um, diamond zoid. Oh, my goodness. Um, what I was going to say. I forgot. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm really, like, hoping that the ones that have purchased show me what they create um that would be like so amazing for me to actually see those things like you know with your spin on it i would really love that you got a name keisha what's the name <laughs> so let's see if we can get some art journaling done i've i've brought out oh and i'm gonna be adding this this is gonna come in a set of two so it's gonna be this one and i want this a little bit larger and this is actually one of the Olympic diamonds that I already came out with in chipboard form. Now, if you guys go to my site, you're going to notice that all my chipboards are on back order. That is because I've exhausted. Yes, I've exhausted my chipboard supply and I'm waiting for my new inventory of chipboards to come out. So that's why I'm like, you know what? I already see that this is going to be a little bit of an issue because the kind of chipboard that I buy is not the kind of chipboard that you can just buy anywhere. It's like from a specific place. Um, Yes, I do. It's at Design Elemental. So basically, my name backwards. The design without the S first, Elemental. So this is going to have two of them. It's going to have this um, larger one and then the smaller one. So like I was saying, the chipboard right now, I have it on back order. So you can order them, and that way I put you on a list of who's going to get chipboards first as soon as my chipboard order comes in because it should be coming in any day now. 
I just spoke to the um, you know, the people over there and told them, like, hey, you guys are holding me up. <laughs> so I put it on back order. So it's not that they're not available. You can order them, but you're gonna get a little note that says, you know, this item is on back order. So they're on back order. Um and I'm going to continue to add uh, the other designs that are coming in because hopefully I'll have my chipboard before June, um, with, like I said, within the next couple of days. So that'll kind of like be perfect. And I'm trying to work it out with them so that I can actually get more than what I've been ordering. So they're trying to figure out if that's something that they can actually do for me. I'm trying to get that going. Yay, Cindy. <laughs> Awesomeness. Stretch chain link. Ooh. Does that work? Does that work? Let's see. Does that look? Uh, let's see. How about chain fence instead of link? Stretch chain fence. Maybe. <laughs> but that is a good one because it does kind of look stretched. It does kind of look stretched. So, you guys, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what we do. Let's see what we do. So I'll let you guys know as soon as I get my chipboards, you know, that I get them, I'll obviously let you guys know like, hey, inventory is back on stock. Right now, what I do have a lot of is stencils. So that's good because I'm going to be working mostly on stencils for right now anyway. And who do we want to work with? Oh, my God, you guys. Who do we want to work with today? Should I? And her name is Spunky, okay, because she's got an edge. She's got an attitude. She's spunky, okay? And she writes love everywhere because she don't care. <laughs> yeah right they're both i should just call it stretched <laughs> stretched we'll see we'll see sometimes giving things names is like the easiest thing but sometimes it's like dang it what do i need this thing that's why i love it when you guys suggest like names and stuff like that because you help me <laughs> make my life a little easier yes and also, I'm going to be doing this thing moving forward, obviously, um, not as of right now, but I'm going to be doing this thing where whenever I feel like stuck or something, it's going to be kind of like a chance for a giveaway, if you will. It's going to be a chance to like win something because whenever I'm kind of like feeling stuck as to a, a name or a theme or something and I go and I ask you guys, I either put it on my community post or I'll put it on my Facebook page. I'm going to go ahead and ask you guys like, you know, for your suggestion or you know, what do you guys think of this? What should I name this? What should I name that? And if I actually end up using or becoming inspired by what you are sharing with me, then that which I share will be yours. You will get first dip on that for free as a thank you for helping me. <laughs> because you guys, it takes a village. Oh my goodness, it takes a village. You're not lying. It takes a village. All right, so we have Moon Magic. We have Spunky, which um, the name of this stencil is I Am Love. Yes. Um, and I'm going to, like I was saying before, my mind is always all over the place. Um, I'm going to come out with different wording that we can fill into this area here. So, um, I think moving forward when I do do them, I'm going to have like different wording. And if I am able to successfully turn her into a chipboard shape, which is what I'm, I was trying to do it yesterday, but I'm, I still have a couple areas that I have to fix. I'm going to, um, create words that you can kind of alter and change it up. So if I do create her into a chipboard, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put like different words. Um, they kind of fit with the brush stroke with how she's painting it onto the wall or into the mirror, or the mirror, wherever she's doing, um, where you can fit like the word, um, faith or, um, you know, whatever it is or dream or whatever the case may be. So I'm going to try to add like different words that'll fit into, um, this spacing here that you kind of can alternate and change up and so on and so forth. Hello, Kim. Stretched link. Yes, stretched link. I think that's what we're going to go for. So as I, you know, as I'm working through you guys, this is like a soft launch as the meteor is kind of like coming down and skipping along the ground. That's kind of how I'm, I'm pushing this thing forward. So I'm pushing it because, you know, I'm going to keep moving forward either way. So I'm pushing it. But you guys, it's not the easiest, especially when you have to depend on, you know, shipping and you have to depend on this. You have to depend on that for everything else. And unfortunately, I live in an apartment. If I lived in a house, then maybe I can afford to like make a little warehouse section and stock up on a whole bunch of stuff. But it's either the stuff that I buy or the kids. So I'm going to keep the kids. <laughs> I'm going to keep the kids for now, you guys, just for now, because they help with the dishes and the laundry and stuff. So, <laughs> all right. So. I'm going to pull out my watercolor 
this is like my favorite art journal to um this is my favorite art journal type okay this is the the, the hansen um watercolor book and it doesn't bring many pages it only brings about 30 but i love it because it's so thick okay and i'm just gonna go ahead and let's see i'm gonna just take one out actually we're gonna work on it like this so that it's kind of open and i don't have to go crazy yeah it's like four little words exactly keisha so that i can kind of fit them in there and i'm gonna have different girls with different styles because I, I would like to be able to reflect like all different types of attitudes if you will um all different types of way of being this is like the inner me so she's definitely got some style and by the way her head is supposed to be like bald on the side you guys that's that's how I picture her. That's how I imagine her. She's supposed to have like that really low, low fade on the side. And then her hair is like super long everywhere else. So I wanted to give her like that tapered um, kind of look so that it looks like her hair is like really, really stuck to her head. Um, so that's just another little note. And also this is not going to look like this when you do get it. Um, this is going to be a little bit more extended out so that it connects. Thank you, Kim. And hopefully, like, the things that I'm creating, when it comes to you guys being able to use it, it kind of helps to, like, take the stress out of it. Because if you have something like this, then you already have your focal point. You can basically decorate your background with whatever you want. You can do collage, you can do whatever you want to decorate your back. You can the back, and you can totally do it. And then you can just go in here with some black paint or any color paint that you like and just kind of dab this all in there. And voila, you got a whole art journal or a canvas or whatever you would like ready to go. And how cool would this look, honestly, just, just food for thought, right? How cool would this look if we took this out, right? Take the whole word of love out and you put a picture of somebody behind this space in here so that it looks like you're painting that person or you're painting that portrait. Like there's just so many different things like that you can do with them. And so which one, you guys, which one? I'm still kind of stuck and I'm running out of time. <laughs> um, so we have this one. Again, she's supposed to be like the tree of life. And I really love um, how she looks. I added grass in the bottom so you guys can add like makeshift grass, grass to um, your image. And then I added this really jumbo flower here in case you wanted to add like a jumbo flower somewhere. Um, however it is that you would like to do it. So I'm trying to see. What we're going to do, I think I'm going to totally use this because I love bricks. So I'm definitely going to be, I think I'm going to use this because I think that these two kind of go together. And she kind of looks like pop art to me in a way as well because she's so kind of like edgy, like her style is so kind of edgy. So let's see what we do. So let's go ahead and start adding some color on here. I'm going to get a brayer and I'm going to start going to town, adding some color onto my paper. I have some blue right here, so I'm gonna go ahead and add some blue. Hello, hello, Julia. So all of the stencils that I'm sharing with you guys today, they're not gonna, they're not all available in the store yet because I'm still adding them to the store. So if these are something that you're really interested in getting, just give me to like the mid afternoon, like let's say three o'clock, four o'clock Eastern Standard Time. I'll have it up by then. Um, I only have a few more to add, but I should have it up by then. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. And this is what I love about mixed media, the freedom of just kind of doing whatever it is that you want to do. So we're going to go in and just start adding randomness to this paper. Sorry, sorry. Um, we're going to start adding some randomness to this paper real quick. And I'm gonna do the edging in black just so that I can, you guys can see it and she kind of stands out. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Let me go ahead and spray some, some green paint on him, some green spray. This is from Lindsay's Camp Gang. I'm gonna go ahead and just add a whole bunch of randomness to this. Here we have some PH Martin iridescent inks and this is bronze, so. So we're gonna kind of do that. A little bit of water. And I don't think I've ever worked this quickly before. So we're also gonna add a little bit of blue because why not? I'm just gonna kind of go into this like so. 
going to add Holy Mole. Holy Mole Donut Shop. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna kind of do that. And let's dry it up. And I'm also trying to make like bags of scatter and I'll show you guys what I mean by that. Like bags of scatter. Allow this to get out. She's got a, a spunky little edge to her, so I want her background to also be kind of spunky. So we want to do that. Kind of spread that out. You found it. You're welcome. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, I know I did it. I checked, I checked it off and everything. I think I made one bubble throughout this whole order, and that's that I put Jupiter Queen back in the folder instead of putting her in the envelope when I shipped out to Tanya. But other than that, it's pretty smooth sailing, I would say. <laughs> All right. So you know what? I have her here, but Whatever we can catch will make life easier. That'll work. Quick little blast real quick again. Okay. And now, let's see, where am I going to have her at? So, where is she going to be? She won't be there. I think that'll work for me right there. Right. All right, so I'm gonna add this and then I'll go in and add um, some of the other little details. I think I'm gonna add her in first. I kind of like this. So what I'm gonna do, grab some paint. Let me grab, uh, I should have, I have right here. A little makeup sponge. I'm gonna add a little bit of black paint onto my glass. My, excuse me. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start kind of dabbing um, with this sponge all the areas that I want to catch. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna need more paint. This sponge really sucks up that paint. Um, and you don't wanna put too much because you don't want it to seep under the stencil. So it's always good to dab off somewhere else if push comes to shove. And we're just gonna drop that in there. This was so my daughter like a couple years back <laughs> with the goth everything. Everything goth, everything goth. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and add that in. And we shall have the grand reveal in a few minutes. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Making sure everything is. And you know, it's funny because sometimes even the smallest of little um, textured areas that the stencils have, it catches everything. Like sometimes I think, oh, that's, that's too small of a little dot. It's not going to show, but it does show. 
and it does add um, a little something something every time. Carmen, I was watching the presentation again. <laughs> oh, you was watching it, girl. We have a few of those. <laughs> we're gonna be doing more soon, so we've just been working it out, and we're gonna have other guests as well because we have my son-in-law and stuff like that. So we're gonna it's gonna be a bigger crowd, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, we're just, you know, again, shipping and stuff like that is really crazy right now. So we haven't really wanted to add, like, don't forget her chin. Oh, yeah, I'm going back into it. And good eye, who said that? Cindy, Cindy, you on point today. <laughs> you are on point. So let me hold this here. And... Oh, can you guys see that? Oh, I messed it up up there. I added a little bit of ink on the top. It's okay. I can always fix that. Let me do the rest of her back. All right. So, so let's add a little bit of paint here. Just a little dot on this one because I don't want uh, the whole thing. I just want to be able to kind of just lightly, really, really lightly, actually. Um, I just want to catch these edges here. And let me tell you the worst, one of the worst things to do with stencils is to create hands. Oh my God, you guys don't understand how many times I have to draw my hands over and over just to get them to kind of like look like hands. It's not easy. But again, a labor of love and I love to draw. Drawing is actually my very, very first passion. Mixed media is my second. You know, it makes me that kind of widely took over, but it's okay because at the end of the day, you, you know, when you do mixed media, you need to draw and stuff. So I was kind of okay with it because I, I was able to use both, but now I'm focusing a lot more on my drawing. So my skills are starting to improve well, a great deal again, because I had stopped. Practice does make perfect, you guys. It is true what they say. So things are getting a little bit easier for me. I'm able to kind of see things a little bit easier as I'm making them. And again, the love is not gonna have, um, it's gonna be more of an open circle. It's not gonna have, it's gonna have the little loop, you know, the connector line, but it's not gonna have um, the little spacers uh, on the O. I took those out. And you can kind of create like a sky scene, uh, you know, a water scene. I mean, you guys can kind of see how you can just add a little bit of things here and there and things start kind of changing. Oh my goodness, you guys ready for the piece de la resistance? Yes. <laughs> and you could totally flip her over and just don't use the word love because otherwise it's gonna say evolve. <laughs> evolve, <laughs> it's gonna say something different. Um, so just don't switch it over. Don't use the word, but you can totally switch that over. And it literally looks like she's painting, like, oh, my God. And obviously, to this, if you wanted to go over, then you could go over with white. You could go over with any other colors to kind of make it all uh, stick out. I'm going to try to cover that black stain up real quick. So I'm just going to add a little bit of this right there. Just to kind of... All right, now let's go ahead and add some bricks to this stencil and see kind of like how, how we do it. Let's go back in with this black. And the reason I'm using the black is so that you guys can see um, how you guys can put everything together, different ways that you can kind of use it. And I gave you three in one. So if you want to get really, really mixed media and you want to try a whole bunch of different stuff, you can. And I'm going to be going, now that I have um, you guys here and I know that this video is going to skip, I'm going to go ahead and just give you guys a quick reminder. Um, I'm not going to be going live in the evenings as much as I used to before. For the most part, I'm going to try to keep my lives during the day. 
Um, for the most part, YouTube, YouTube isn't notifying anybody of when I'm going live anyway. Um, for some reason, nobody's getting notifications. So um, I'm just going to let you guys know because I think production-wise for me, now that I'm running the store, it makes it a little bit easier when I get to work on designs and work on orders in the evening and get them prepped to be shipped the next day um, as opposed to doing them during the day and then having them there. So um, I'm going to start switching a little bit of that up. So you guys can kind of see. And this is cool. You can kind of flip it over this way, flip it over that way. Um, oh, you got it today? Yeah, I've been hearing that from a lot of people. Like, oh, I'm not getting notifications. I'm not getting notifications. I mean, so between that and just my own personal schedule i'm like you know what i'm just gonna switch to the morning some the morning i think that the evenings are just probably too congested and there's so many people going live that um youtube is probably overwhelmed honestly that's what i think i think youtube is probably overwhelmed with the notification system and having to notify everybody and however that that whole thing works um so i'm just gonna do it in the day i think for me it'll be a little bit easier i get to come on early um get this part of my day start of my day with creating something that's like amazing right there, right? All in itself, that's a bonus all by itself. So I'm gonna start doing that like that. Um, and I'm not gonna be coming on on the evenings as much. So most likely tomorrow, I'm gonna let you guys know from right now, I will not be going live tomorrow, Saturday, right? Yeah, tomorrow I will not be going live um, in the evening. I'm gonna start going live during the day um, and get this part of my day off to the right foot. There's nothing like a little bit of therapy in the morning, right? Let's go ahead and let's see, put that like that, maybe right there. Add a little bit more. Little dabs, little dab do you. Little dab do you, you guys. Little dab do you. Now, to so this, I think, right? Pretty cool. Yeah, and that's another thing too. Like when they do get it, they'll get it. Cause I know I've gotten notifications from people that are live, like, oh my God, 15 minutes later, 20 minutes later, I'm like, what the heck? So that does that does um happen actually quite often. So I think I'm gonna overlap maybe some of these some of this cobblestone with this brick. So how am I gonna do that? Carmen, how are you gonna do that? How are you gonna do that, my friend? Let's go. Let's see, let's see. Um, not that one. Maybe with a little bit of this gray. Because I don't want it to be too, too white. Yeah, and things are going to start getting um back to normal, if you will. Like, I'm, I'm sure that I'll have, like, evening events. But for the most part, I think I'm going to focus more on going live in the morning. Because I think it'll be easier for me. Um, I'll get to do some originating some days some days i actually create a project with you guys um a lot of it is going to be geared towards the things that i'm creating so i'll get to show share with you guys and demo with you guys um how i'm using you know my stencils my chipboards um whatever the case may be this color that i'm using is a chalky finish paint and it is yesteryear by americana decor okay so i'm just gonna add like a little bit i think I think, right? This might work. This might look totally terrible. We shall see. We shall see. I'm like, if I got three of them on one stem, so I want to be able to use all three. <laughs> That's just me. So let's see. Let's see. And I'm trying to follow the curve that I already see from that, you know, from that there. So we're just gonna kind of mix and match these a little bit. Can you see it? Can you not see it? I think it's a little bit, the gray is not as bright as I would have liked for it to be, but um, let me add some white paint to it maybe. 
Yeah. Embroideries right here that I can use. Different colors, yes. Yeah, I'm gonna add a little bit of this white and see now if it looks a little bit better. See how it looks with the white. It really helps it to pop out. That gray is kind of like blending in too much um, into the background. And that is by Brea Reese, um, and it's white. And it's a writer, I think. It's called um, Paint Writers. Okay, we can see that a little bit better. A little bit better, right? Let's go ahead and just add a little bit here. Just add a little bit on this side over here. Let's put this black. kind of finish the whole mural theme that she's got going on. I hope she's not painting on a building. Hopefully this is somewhere else that she's painting. Okay, let's see. So you guys can see the stencil holds really, really well to pressure. Um, the only areas that you might have a little bit of an issue with, and that's just with any stencil, is when you have like those little snag areas. Those little snag, oh, that's the wrong spot there. But other than that, it should work nicely. Um, let's see, if maybe we can add a little bit of red in here to make it kind of pop a little bit more. I'm gonna go and get some red. Yeah. I like that. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Let's see. I would recommend using a smaller sponge because I got it into areas that I shouldn't have gotten it into. But other than that, I do like, I do like. Let me get some other color and see. Let's get some of this red. And this is Deep Burgundy. Let me get a different sponge. Maybe a smaller one. Right, let's try with that. Looks like it should be called Faded Dream. Oh, <laughs> right? Because it's like all kind of blending, but that's because I added so much color in the background. It all depends on your aesthetic. Some people like a lot of color. Other people are more realistic with their art, so they won't use so many vibrant, you know, colors and stuff like that. I'm a little bit of both. Um, I like the realism of like the faces and stuff like that, but I do like the craziness of the backgrounds. So I like that mixture of both, like surrealism almost. All right, so let's get some red cobblestones in here and see if that adds anything or if we actually lose something. I'm going to need a lot more than that. And I have a few minutes left. I can't believe this. I did this in a half an hour. Usually my projects take me forever. I started at 11 and change, and I'm already almost done. These are super fast. That's kind of another bonus, I guess, from working off of stencils um, is that you get to do your pages a lot faster. So your projects, your videos themselves shouldn't take that much long um, to do. One more. Yes. I'm always, I'm, I'm the queen of excess. <laughs> I'm the queen of excess. So for some reason, 
I always tend to use a lot of color. I always um empty out the whole kitchen sink on everything. That's just the way that I, I create. That's why sometimes my videos can be a little bit longer because I will literally go around the block a few times before I decide where I want to stop at. Um, but I kind of like that. I think that's pretty good. I think that's pretty good. I think a few uh, little splashes of paint here and there. Let's go ahead and fill in. Let's go ahead and see if we can fill in her eye. Hopefully I grabbed the right brush for this. I'm thinking I didn't. I'm thinking I didn't. I need a smaller brush. Um, let's see what I find here. All my brushes are discombobulated, you guys. Here we go. I buy more brushes than anything else when it comes to my stuff to create with. I buy more brushes than I buy paint. There's like a whole bunch of stuff kind of happening there. <laughs> I'm gonna go in and try to like um, fill in her eye, the white area around her eyes to kind of like make her eyes um, pop a little bit. That's why I left those spaces empty as opposed to doing it the other way around. Um, I left this, the white areas empty so that you guys can kind of fill them in and set your tone, if you will. And I got a little bit of black paint right here, so let's fill in her eye. The magic is in customizing. The whole thing. Okay, let's see. You can always go in and add more hair if you want. Uh, cover some of the hair that's there if you don't want all that hair. You can totally customize this um, and make it more your style as you go. Again, I wanted her side of her hair to be a little bit more tapered. So, I'm go ahead and just add a little bit of texture there. Kind of darken it a little bit without darkening it too, too much. Um, and the lips, I don't ever want the lips black, so I think I'm gonna just oh, I have white already here. I think I'm just gonna overlap the lips a little bit with some of this white. And yes, I'm gonna get rid of um, the textured areas, but that's just so that I can share show you guys that you can actually get rid of those textured areas. So if you're not really so much into the whole uh. You like her face, but you don't necessarily like some of the extra details that are added in there. Then you can very easily cover them up and not use them when you are creating your project. Okay. Really, really simple. Okay, and let's see. What else do you guys think that I should add in here? I don't know, I don't know. Oh, let's do the love, and let's make that love word stand out, right? We might as well. Let's fill that love in with some white. Oh, this right here? <laughs> I 
All right, so we're going to go ahead and just kind of fill in the love. And I'm going to need a lot more paint than that. I can already see. And basically, the love kind of wraps around like this. And again, when I when I do the when I redid the stencil, I took out um, some of that uh, little extra spacing on there. So. And this is actually my own handwriting. <laughs> my own handwriting in here, you guys. And she's part of the I Am series, you guys. Um, there's another I Am stencil that have the I Am line stencil. So whenever I incorporate, like, you know, a, a certain focal point with some words, usually that's going to be part of the I Am series because um, they're all for, like, forms of expression and stuff like that. So hopefully that'll kind of work uh, for you guys. We have that black back in there. Let me find the brush a little bit better. Okay. That'll work for me. That will totally work for me. I love the colors in the center. Those are like all my favorite colors. The green, the blue, and the <laughs> Those are like all my favorite colors right there. Trying to cover that little blunder up. So there you guys have it. For the most part, right? Not too shabby, not too shabby. And I think I did this thing in record breaking time. So I'm like, what? What? Um, might as well frame it out with that little bit of paint that I have there. That way we don't waste anything. We'll just give it a little, little makeshift frame there. Just use up all this color in the sponge. And there we have it for the most part. Now you can always go over this, you know, once you're doing your project, you're going to do a whole bunch of stuff. So you're going to go over it with pencil, um, with markers. You're going to do all kinds of different things to it. Um, give, a, give a little, little twinkle in the eye. Why not, right? Give a little twinkle in the eye. And this is what I'm gonna be doing with you guys. Um, there was a question. Let's see, it looks like it should be called Fade Girl. Ah, too much for her. Yep, 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 yep. When you're done with this, do you just wash that makeup spot? Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Like this one, I've used it several times, but it's still soft. So as long as it's still soft, I keep using it. What I make sure that I do is I let it dry so that I'm not transferring color where I don't want color transferred to. So I make sure that I let it dry. Um, but for the most part, I just keep using them. I just keep using them. They will get a little bit stiff at times, depending, you know, if you're using certain acrylic uh, paint that will dry like really, really um, stiff. All you have to do if you don't want them to dry stiff is just spray with some water, squeeze out as much of that color as you possibly can, and then let it dry. Um, 
but I keep using them until they fall apart. Like you can already see they're already starting to kind of fall apart. But I mean, I get them cheaply enough. This bag cost me like two bucks at my pharmacy. It's to a dollar ninety nine, and it brings twenty of them in all different shapes. So not too shabby. And I got two bags, so I got I got a nice amount of sponges for a while. <laughs> I got a nice amount of sponges for a while. So you guys, um, oh yes, real quick before I go, I was saying that I'm gonna be adding um some scatter because I get a whole bunch of these little shapes left over, like all different kinds of shapes. And this to me, this is like perfect scatter for like if you do jelly printing, um, you can totally put this on your thing and roll your stuff out, pick them up, and you'll get like all different kinds of uh shapes and stuff like that. Plus, you can always kind of like I'll do it right behind here. Um but I wanted to kind of just like lay a few of them out. You can kind of uh, lay them out in any kind of way that you want and then kind of like spray it, right? Something like that. Paper. And then you just kind of um this is great for like creating um backgrounds ahead of time. But you see, you could lay all different kinds of stuff, and I'm gonna have all different kinds of shapes left over from when I do these stencils. Sometimes I do incorporate these and leave these in there for you. Um, it depends on the shapes, basically. Sometimes they're not really that great. Um, so I'll take the I'll take the shapes out. For the most part, what I will want to say is I'm gonna say this again real quick for you guys. If you order my stencils, for the most part, you will get your stencils as a whole. I will make sure that all the pieces come out of it, but you're gonna get it as a whole. If you don't want those pieces, all you gotta do is let me know and I'll clean it for you and send it to you, you know, ready to go, ready to use. But some people do like them. I know personally for me, I do like them at times because like, let's say I have a face or something like that that I can put back in or take out. Maybe I want to use that face it's on that stencil. Maybe I don't. Maybe I just want the, the whole area and then we're not going to create something different. So sometimes I'll leave those pieces in there so that if you want to kind of like work in different ways, you can. Um, but for the most part, um, certain things like that, like the chain ones and stuff like that, I'm going to, I'm not going to put those in. I'm going to just take them out. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll start collecting them and then hopefully I'll have something that, like I said, like scatter bags. Um, and it's basically so that you can go ahead and like use these random pieces and like scatter them everywhere and like spray them and do different stuff with them and create like backgrounds and stuff like that. So let's put that to the side <laughs> let's put this back. Exactly, and that's why I leave them in for the most part, but on, like I said, on some of the ones that like it just doesn't work, I will be, um, you know, taking them out. These are all the pieces from the ones that I used, and obviously I had to use a stencil, so I cleaned it out and took all the pieces out. This is all the stuff that I had left over. Um, but some people don't like to go through that, you know, painstaking thing of popping all the little bits and pieces out, which I totally get. Sometimes it can be really annoying. So if you're one of those people, you have to just let me know. I don't have no problem cleaning them out because I, again, when I cut them out, I cut them out ready to. They all they do is pop out. So. You can either have them as it comes with the, all the pieces in them, all the inlays already there, or you can ask me to remove them and I don't have a problem. I'll clean it up for you and, you know, take all those little bits and pieces out. Just let me know. It's just a, a little extra step. It doesn't really take that much time. All right, my friends. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. I won't hold you up any longer because I know you guys got things to do. I have things to do. <laughs> I have to finish adding stuff onto the store. Thanks for hanging out with me for a while. Um, like I said, I'm going to try to post it up here and there when I go live. Um, for the most part, it's going to be kind of random for right now. And so I can give myself a good bearing of what time is good and what days are good. So I'm just going to pop up here and there. Just be on the lookout for me. I'll try to share it on my Facebook and as well as my Instagram. Sometimes I don't get to share on my Instagram though. So if you follow me on Facebook, definitely check that out. Um, and let me know if you are from YouTube and let me know what your YouTube name is because I don't just allow anybody to follow me on Facebook because I'm trying to stay out of craziness and keep myself focused on what I need to be focused on. So with that being said, I want to thank you all so much for being here. I hope you stop by the shop uh, sometime during the afternoon. These will be available as of today in the afternoon on. Um, so with that being said, thank you and bye. <laughs>
Thank you. 